Bethesda has struck gold once again with Fallout 76. Comedy gold, of course, because Fallout 76 is an ongoing dumpster fire for which the humiliation, the degradation, the laughter never stops. Although in this case, one person in particular isn't laughing, the person who was banned from Fallout 76 for having too much ammunition after they played the game for 900 hours. Yes, in a twist of utter perfection, Fallout 76, the much maligned live service that isn't very good and has been pilloried by press and community alike, has managed to find the one person who was loving Fallout 76 and banned them. 900 hours. 900 hours, I don't even know if I've spent that long wanking cumulatively. And for a game so famously awful, there can't be many people like this player, so it really is quite likely that Fallout 76 has banned its biggest fucking player, or certainly one of them. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that maybe this was altruism, maybe this was generosity, maybe this was decency on the part of Bethesda, saving this player from themselves, saving this player from Fallout 76, but no, of course the answer is utterly stupid. The reason for the banning is absurd and laughable. Bethesda alleges that the player collected far too much ammunition, and if you've been playing for 900 hours, you've probably got quite a bit of ammo. Certainly not as much ammunition as anyone looking to criticise Fallout 76 has! <laughs> <laughs> Bethesda alleged that the Banny, who calls himself Glorf12 on Reddit, had over 100,000 rare items collected over the course of a month, as well as 140,960 Ultrasight ammunition on a single character, and more ammo still on a secondary account. Now, Glorf had a second account and was swapping items so that they could try out different weapons. Now, Glorf12 does have a second account, uh, but they were using it, they were swapping items between the two accounts to try out different weapons. Certainly as good a reason to have a secondary account as any. But even then, Glorf12 says that they simply didn't have the ludicrous amounts of ammo that Bethesda alleged they have. I've never had such a ridiculous amount of ammo, said Glorf. What I have done, however, is trade ammo back and forth between my main and secondary accounts as I try to decide on what guns I aim to focus on. Given the sheer amount of time I've spent playing, I have legitimately collected ludicrous amounts of ammo. Yeah, no shit. 900 hours, that's the ludicrous bit. How? How has anyone managed to spend 900 hours in that literal wasteland? Never mind the in-game wasteland. Fallout 76, as a game, is a wasteland. But apparently you can find 900 hours of what passes for entertainment in it. And that deserves some sort of fucking trophy. Some sort of award. Not a burning, an award. Glorf12 for finding 900 hours of what must pass for entertainment. Th they should be given the key to the city, carried around on a big chair, and named the ruddy bloody king of Virginia. The ban is indefinite. Uh, they were banned until the issue was fixed in a future patch, but a patch happened and Glorf was still banned. They cannot check their game, they cannot check their account to see how much ammunition they, they really have. And they still say they didn't have that much, but they can't even check. The player was lugging around a ton of ammo using the Bandalier perk where ammo weight is dropped by 90%, so they were able to carry a shitload. And now they're trying to work out why they were flagged for a banning, even though they, they're adamant that they were playing legitimately. Uh, there is a very lengthy breakdown uh, involving the, the, the theoretics as to why this happened. Uh, the long and the short of it is that Glorf believes that Fallout 76 can detect when you pick an item up, but has no context for where it came from or if it was dropped. Um, they think it just seems to keep a, a running tally of the items you've picked up. And if that's the case, uh, a player could theoretically trade ammunition back and forth between another player, running up their tally and ending up both banned, just for trading ammo back and forth. Uh, but they really are just 
trying to come up with an idea because to ban someone for having too much ammo is fucking ridiculous if all of that ammo was accrued in game fairly. Such as, I don't know, accruing it after playing 900 fucking hours. A Bethesda community manager said they're investigating it to find out what happens. That's where we're at with the story right now. Um, but whatever the case, it's yet more dreadful PR for Fallout 76 as if it needed any more. The game has become notorious. Um, it may be one of the biggest shit shows, and no, I mean, it is one of, it may be the biggest shit show I've seen involving a major AAA video game. And I've seen a lot of them. I've been covering video games for over a decade, and I've seen some shit shows, but this one is the creme de la crap. Between the game's negative reception, the false advertising of special editions, the glitches after glitches, it's been bad story after bad story. I've covered a lot of them on this channel, but even I've not managed to tick every box. There are stories I've missed about awful ridiculousness going on with Fallout 76. To be comprehensive would be to take quite a bit of time. So yet again, Fallout 76 in the doghouse, it's been a train wreck that still manages to get back on the tracks and crash again and again and again. They keep hauling the train back on the tracks only to watch it derail in another spectacular manner. Fallout 76 may have been a bad, boring, dreary, broken game. However, everything surrounding it, all of the periphery, has been intensely entertaining. Fallout 76 may be the most entertaining product to which the term entertaining does not apply to the actual product. And I've got to give Bethesda credit for that. Cheers for the laughs.